Arthur Greenwood, the 8th of February 1880 to the 9th of June 1954, was a British politician. A prominent member of the Labour Party from the 1920s until the late 1940s, Greenwood rose to prominence within the party as secretary of its research department from 1920 and served as parliamentary secretary to the Ministry of Health in the short-lived Labour government of 1924. In 1940, he was instrumental in resolving that Britain would continue fighting Nazi Germany in World War II. <laughs> Early life Greenwood was born in Hunslet, Leeds, the son of a painter and decorator. He was educated at the Yorkshire College which later became the University of Leeds, where he took a BSc. Political career Greenwood was first elected to the House of Commons at the 1922 general election for the constituency of Nelson and Cone in Lancashire. He held the seat until being defeated at the 1931 election, but returned to Parliament the following year, winning a by-election in the Yorkshire constituency of Wakefield. Greenwood continued to represent Wakefield until his death in 1954. Greenwood was an active Freemason, associated with the New Welcome Lodge. In 1929, Greenwood was appointed Minister of Health and sworn into the Privy Council, a position he held until the collapse of the Labour government in August 1931. During his time at the Ministry of Health, Greenwood raised widows' pensions and through the Housing Act 1930 enacted large scale slum clearance. Greenwood became deputy leader of the Labour Party under Clement Attlee. Undoubtedly his most famous moment came on 2 September 1939 when, acting for an absent Attlee, he was called to respond to Neville Chamberlain's ambivalent speech on whether Britain would aid Poland. Preparing to respond, he was interrupted by an angry Conservative backbencher and former First Lord of the Admiralty, Leo Amory, who exclaimed, "'Speak for England, Arthur!' A flustered Greenwood proceeded to denounce Chamberlain's remarks, to the applause of his colleagues. When the wartime coalition government was formed, Winston Churchill appointed him to the war cabinet as minister without portfolio in 1940. He was generally seen as ineffectual, but in May 1940 he emerged as Churchill's strongest and most vocal supporter in the lengthy war cabinet debates on whether to accept or reject a peace offer from Germany. Without the vote in favor of fighting on by Greenwood and Clement Attlee, Churchill would not have had the slim majority he needed to do so, after that his position declined and he resigned in 1943. The same year, he was elected as Treasurer of the Labour Party, beating Herbert Morrison in a close contest. Until the end of World War II, Greenwood also performed the function of leader of the opposition, though he did not receive the salary. During the Attlee government, he served successively as Lord Privy Seal and Paymaster General. <laughs> Death Greenwood was cremated at Golders Green Crematorium on 14 June 1954. His ashes and memorial lie in Bay 17 of the East Boundary Wall. Family Greenwood's son Anthony Greenwood, later Lord Greenwood 1911 to 1982, was an MP from 1946 until 1970, first for Haywood and Radcliffe and later for Rossendale, and a member of Harold Wilson's governments. <laughs> 